The majority caucus in parliament says it has not contemplated any changes to its leadership in the House. The group says the new standing orders of parliament gives the group the sole mandate to any reshuffle in leadership. Our parliamentary correspondent, Ni Ayukwe Okai, has more details in this report. Reports of a reshuffle in the leadership of the majority caucus in parliament were arrived on Monday. However, during proceedings in parliament on Tuesday, the caucus, led by the first deputy speaker, Joseph Oseo Usu, denied such reports, saying that the caucus has not contemplated on any shakeup in its leadership. We are here to inform you and through you to the world that the publications that are going wrong is not true, it's, not fa uh, it's false, that the caucus, the majority caucus, has not made any changes in its leadership. The majority caucus has not contemplated making any changes to its leadership, and that we tell the whole world, Ghana, to ignore any such publications. And I want to assure you that we have confidence in the leadership as they are, and the status quo shall remain. We are aware that upon the nomination of one of the deputy whips as a minister, a replacement will be made. That replacement will be made by the caucus when we have had the opportunity and the time to consider the appropriate replacement. The Parliament of Ghana has adopted standing orders which places the selection and and change or otherwise of leadership in the hands of the caucus and not anybody outside parliament. The new standing order. The new standing why, order. Do we, why do we not see the current leadership of the majority doing the press conference as it is now? But it's you. They are busy in the chamber and it's about them. It is about them. The rest of us must stand up for them. They have led us effectively and efficiently and the rest of us must stand up for them. And indeed, <laughs> it doesn't need the leaders to say that we have not taken a decision. It is we, the members, caucus, we the caucus. We have not taken any such decision. We are not contemplating any such decision. Yes. I believe that one of the key things is, you know, let me not say consultation, but some level of discussion between the parliamentarians and the executive and the party. And, and when that is lacking, then you'd certainly have some level of resistance. And, and I also needed to make people aware that even when some decisions are made within the majority caucus, sometimes not all of us are for it. And, and there's always some level of quote unquote, not, uh, you know, the, the appropriate word might be some people who may not be in support of the decisions made. But through it all, when we sit, and a majority take a certain stand. We all would focus and do what the majority says. And, and in this instance, I think a lot of us welcome uh, any changes, uh, but dialogue or you know, further discussion is what some of us are asking for, so that people come to appreciate why the need for the change or why you know, the, these changes are necessary at this point in time.